it's James from xrobots.co.uk. Today I'm here with Dave from YouTube channel Toy Polloi. Tell us a bit about your channel, Dave. Well, my channel is uh, about uh, vintage toys, how to uh, look after them and restore them, and uh, sort of tips and tricks on how to get the best out of them. Cool, so let's have a look at some of the toys. So, here's your big collection of Star Wars figures. So you're building an army? Yeah, I've been building this for the last couple of years, uh, using what I would class as the, the dregs of uh, Star Wars action figures. Uh, you can pick up some pretty rough, beaten things on eBay for next to nothing. And uh, with a little bit of TLC and some uh, sort of fixing and mending, you can get a pretty decent army uh, for next to nothing. So there's a big collection of stormtroopers there. So I'm in your channel you talk about restoring them and repairing them and making the replacement pieces. That's right, yeah, because uh, for things like snow troopers, uh, you'll never find a, a beaten up snow trooper with a cape. Uh, so I've done videos on how to uh, fix and repair those. Uh, and what sort of paints and brushes you'll need for uh, painting and uh, sort of fixing any paint touch-ups that uh, they always need. Cool, so there's a bit of a tip involving, is it a PVC football or...? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. For uh, vintage capes, the uh, the nearest sort of plastic you'll find is a vinyl uh, that they use to make blow up beach balls, uh, which is a very useful uh, and cheap way of getting capes. Cool, and I believe there's a video coming on de yellowing stormtroopers. Yep, yeah, that will be a future job. I'm just waiting for the sun to come out and I'll uh, show you all how to uh, turn some pretty nasty looking yellow stormtroopers back into uh, reasonable ones that you can uh, add to your collection. So here's the Master Toy Fixing Toolkit and um, the spares box on the left there. Tell us about that. Well, this is a, a, a box of uh, O-rings uh, and it's probably one of the most useful things you could ever get uh, if you want to fix toys. Uh, for example, in a video sort of shortly, I'm going to be showing you how to fix uh, old He-Man figures like this, which uh, their legs fall off of. Um, and it mainly involves old O-rings, uh, the cheapest and most useful thing ever. Cool, and what else is in your toolbox? Ah, oh, generally, always lots of screwdrivers, loads and loads of paint, because uh, you can never have uh, too much paint. Uh, this is the stuff I use for fixing stormtroopers and uh, other vintage uh, Star Wars figures. Um, and uh, as we mentioned before, vinyl, uh, plastic blow-up balloons for repairing capes, all sorts really, and glue. Lots of glue. Lots of glue. Never have enough glue. On my channel I also review rare vintage toys, things that you may not have known ever existed or uh, ever seen before. Take for example uh, Tiamat here from Dungeons and Dragons, a toy that most people don't know ever existed. And did you get that on a toy fair? No, that was an eBay find. Ah uh, right, okay. Uh, and normally if you look on eBay there'll be about $300, uh, but uh, as the guy didn't know what it was I got it for a pound. Wow. It's all about knowing what you're after. Cool, so I guess you've got some other videos about some other bargain finds that you found. Yeah, I'm constantly finding things, so uh, yeah, I'll, anything rare, I'll be reviewing it. So thanks for showing us your collection, and check out the Toy Polloi YouTube channel, and subscribe for more excellent vintage toy reviews and fixing it videos. The link's just here. Thanks guys.